Hello YouTube. In this video we're taking a look at uh, the stuff that you see here in the frame. Um, the story behind all of this is um, I currently have a job for an IT company and uh, after about 30 years of service in their current location they are finally moving and uh, they're cleaning up the place and they're finding a whole lot of stuff. Well, we are finding a whole lot of stuff uh, that's typically about 20 years or even older than that. Uh, there were also a couple of things, a couple of trinkets that uh, they were going to throw out and they uh, offered me like, well, either throw it out or take it home. So I was like, okay, sure, I'll just dig through and see what I uh, can find. Uh, the first thing that I saw was this compact Evo laptop. We'll uh, get into this one in a, in a little bit. Because it had the docking station with it as well, I figured that would be pretty fun to at least make a video about, maybe uh, give it some purpose. We'll uh, We'll find out. I'm also willing to take suggestions on maybe uh, something to do with that. And I also found, this is a set here. Uh, this was sealed, but I pe peeled the seal off because I will actually use this in the future. This is the full set of stuff uh, with an original copy of Windows 95. This is Windows 95 OSR 2. It has a copyright of 1997, so that, uh, that should be appropriate. We also have the original uh, registration card, and uh, the nice thing about this is this is a Dutch copy of Windows 95, I didn't actually have one yet, not an official one at least. And by the way, if you can see the serial, I don't freaking care, it's, uh, <laughs> there are plenty of those around on the internet, but I definitely wanted to save that, it's just a brand new copy, no scratches or whatever, so I figured that would be uh, good to save. Maybe I'll put that in uh, on the uh, on the Pentium One PC that I have. This uh, fresh copy also has USB support. Who would have known? Right. So onto this uh, bad boy here. It's actually not docked. Just put it on there. I'll put this aside. There we go. So this is the docking station with the very uh, big warning sticker. I have three settings here. I have no idea what they do. They do something alright, but it's happening on the inside of the docking station. I think there is something that's, that you can just can do with this. Ah, okay, there we go. There's a flap here. I need to put this into the uh, image here. If you push it, push in this button, this is for undocking. If you pull on this, it's a little eject tab. And I should be able to pull this blank out. Well, it came out a little bit. I'm not sure now. Huh, that's interesting. I can no longer pull on the button, so it is definitely for something in there. We also have another of these pull tabs on this side. I'm pretty sure these things here on the bottom come out, but I don't know what they're hiding under there. I haven't done any research into this matter, so... Yeah, but it's a good docking station. It has plenty of ports. If you take a look here on the back, we have PS2 ports, we have the power input, parallel, serial, S-video, composite video, PGA, DVI, Ethernet, Firewire, three USB ports, uh, coaxial out, and uh, regular audio ports in the Kensington lock. That's, that's just a full array of ports. You can connect this thing to basically anything. So that's, that's fun. So let's put that aside as well. So we can take a look at the laptop that goes with the docking station which is the Compact Evo here. If we take a look around, okay, it has a Windows XP professional key on the bottom. That's good to know. So yeah, under here is the docking port, which we will use shortly. We'll leave that open. The hard drive bay is located right here. Network cards are located here. And I'm assuming this is the memory door. The 
it's in pretty good condition overall well not really but it's reasonable for a machine that has been serving very well all of its life this this thing was used as a windows 2000 server for the longest time it had it was used as a uh, primary workstation laptop for one of my colleagues uh, and and when, when it was retired once it was retired they basically uh, converted this to a Windows 2000 server. That, that's what it was running when I uh, when I got it. I decided to wipe the hard drive because of course there was company data on there. So uh, I put on a fresh copy of Windows 2000 Professional. Runs just fine. Runs very well in fact. On this compact Evo N1020V. The keyboard is still in good condition. The trackpad is in good condition. The battery is pretty much stone dead. The screen wobbles like hell, as you can see here. <laughs> I might open this thing up to see if I can actually tighten the hinges a little bit, but they might be shot, who knows. But uh, it is a pretty thick laptop because it is a Pentium 4 notebook computer with a 2.4 GHz desktop class Pentium 4 CPU. We have some nice speakers here on the front because they have space left <laughs> because the cooling system for the P4 is quite enormous. We also have a 3.5 floppy, three, three inch floppy drive on the side. We have a PCMCA slot right there with a nice eject button. A vent, a Kensington lock here. On this side of the laptop we have a DVD-ROM drive. And here is the battery and this is the uh, here's the Wi-Fi sensor or infrared maybe. I'm assuming that's for uh, infrared and a firewire port here as well. On the back we have a combination here. We have a 100 megabit ethernet port and a 56k modem. We have the audio jack located here. This is the microphone input. This is the headphone output. Power port here and this is a door that shows the ports that are default to this laptop. We have two USB ports, a cooling fan, S video port, VGA port, PS2 port for a mouse, and a parallel port. Once we're docked, we have to keep this door shut and we cannot use it. So that's something to keep in mind. So let's put it on docking. If we can. It's always a bit tricky. Feels like it's been docked, so that's good. So let's pull open the display again. Get a nice frame in there. Oh well, let's just take a look at the screen. That's where everything is going to happen anyway. Just plug it in. There we go. Now we have to plug in the docking station. I'm not doing a tidy job because I don't give a shit. Uh, it's on the other side. There we go. And let's fire it up. Compact. It should be one of the last proper compact machines right before HP took over. Because basically everything that was named compact after this was was an HP. They finalized the transfer, I think in 2002 or 2003. So that would be about accurate. And as you can see, Windows 2000 Professional. I would probably put Windows XP on here anyway. But maybe an older version of SP3. I mean, it is a Pentium 4 2.4, but it only has 512 megs of RAM. And I'm not exactly uh, dripping in DDR RAM, so. <laughs> At least not for laptops, I've played desktop RAM, but yeah. There you go, Windows is starting up. As a 40 gig hard drive, 
integrated graphics as far as I can tell. It was connected to a domain. I took it out of the domain, so it's probably gonna nag. Yep, that domain's now offline. There we go. Speakers are pretty good for a business client's laptop like this. Well, I guess you could almost classify this as a workstation laptop. It also has ATI graphics, it's integrated, but uh, so it probably has an ATI chipset. It's a uh, Radeon IGP340M. I've seen these chips before, I think they're based on the RAGE chipsets. It's not too bad, it's pretty good. So yeah, that's, that's basically uh, all I can really show here. The display, I think is it just a regular 1024, I'm guessing? Yep, 1024 or 768. It's in reasonable condition. The display itself, so yeah, it's working great. But uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to put Windows XP on this. Because it has a serial for it and because I have plenty of disks for that. And I'm just going to see how that runs on here. But uh, yeah, it, it should run okay on this 40 gig hard drive and 512 megs of RAM. As long as I stick to like uh, XP SP1. That's what I intend to put on here, XP SP1A. That's, uh, that typically runs very well on anything below 512 megs of RAM. So uh, let's give that a shot. Anyways, that uh, that's something I'll do uh, off camera. I just wanted to make this video to show you guys some of the things that I saved from the dumpster. I also saved a couple of other little trinkets like adapters from like AT to PS2 and serial to PS2, serial to AT uh, or something. <laughs> you know, little things like that. Just some retro hardware basically that uh, could come in handy for my use cases sometimes, so that's fairly nice. If something comes up uh, that we still find that I can uh, take home, I'll of course make a video on that as well. Um, but for now I just wanted to make this little video here to show you uh, some things that I've gotten. And uh, Yeah, at least I've got some more content for you guys to show, right? I hope you enjoyed this video, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.